On to college football, where after two straight winning seasons, the VMI Cadets football team, they have a strong outlet for the 2022 season. Now, before the spring and fall 2021 seasons, expectations for the Cadets weren't high at all, considering the program has had more losing seasons than winning seasons. And with a recent taste of success in Lexington, the Cadets welcomed the strong expectations on the program. You know, I came in and to be honest, it was kind of a almost a losing culture. You know, we we had the mindset of, you know, let's keep it close. Let's try to just put up some points and, uh, you know, you know, play a respectable game. But, you know, now we're going in week to week, expecting to win every week. And it's exciting. You know, it's a great feeling. It's really empowering knowing any week you're going into a game, you have a feeling you can win. You know, I came in here to like me and Seth, the, all the seniors came in to a losing program and, you know, we weren't really expected to win. And then that freshman year we were kicked off, we were close games and won a bunch of them. But, you know, last year we ended with three losses and that really like hit hard for us. And, you know, we, we have the highest expectations for ourselves as like the media votes us low in the polls for SOCOM. We don't really care about that. We know what we have. And we just got a bunch of guys that really care and are really all bought in. And this year should be really something special. Now, coming up two weeks from tomorrow, we'll have our local college football preview show called Countdown to Tickoff. Of course, myself, David Guzman, Ryan Moy, we'll have stories on Hokies, Flames, Cavaliers, and Cadets, and so much more. Check it out on Wednesday, August the 31st at 5.30 on WFXR. So we got high school football and college football coming. We're getting you ready for those seasons which are about to start right around the corner. I know people are excited. I know I am. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We